everyone, it's Rosella, and welcome to Rosella's Halloween Special. So, obviously it's Halloween today, and I'm going to be showing you some clips from, so I think the first video is from Halloween two years ago, and then the next one that I'm about to show you is from Halloween um, last year. And the one from last year, um, I show you, like, before Halloween, and, like, I'm in, like, a dance costume thingy -ma bobber and I talk a little bit about that, I do a little, like, thing with you guys, and then, um, I kind of, like, show a little bit of Halloween. There was more footage, but, um, I didn't want the video to get too, too long, so I kind of had to cut it a little bit, and then the one that, I, um, I'm about to show you that's gonna come up next from two years ago is actually, um... It's not actually on Halloween. It's like I think it's like a week before Halloween, and I'm making a costume for Lily. So it starts off with the stop motion of Lily, like talking about how she's gonna make the costume, and then it cuts to me, and I end up making the costume. Obviously, um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get right to it. Hey everyone, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel. You can probably barely see me over this mountain of fabrics, but today I'm going to be making my Halloween costume. Let's get right to it. Hey everyone, it's Rosella here. Happy Halloween almost. It's almost Halloween and um, I'm so excited because I love Halloween. This year I got um, a zombie prom queen outfit and I'm going to be transforming my doll Lily and making her a zombie prom queen outfit. I'm so excited because um, I love crafting and I felt like this would be super duper fun and she's like the perfect girl to make this for. Yeah, I'm so excited. So, um, I'm gonna be starting off. I got this outfit from Art Generation. I feel like it's just so awesome. And I was just like shopping one day in a store and I just found this and this was like the only outfit I'm like, Wow, this is like so convenient. It is the um it's the our story. It's like a part of the like old fashioned collection. It is the um prom dreams outfit. I think it's so cute. I'm not gonna be using everything from the set though, because I wanna try to make it exact almost exactly like my costume and that means adding fake blood and I don't wanna ruin this perfect green dress and put fake blood on it, over it, especially because my outfit is not green. I got it at Spirits Halloween, and I cannot wait to get started. Um, so let's go. outfit looks like on Lily. I think it's really cute, but if you look at, I'm gonna put side to side. If you look at this and then look at her outfit, it doesn't really match that much. So we are going to change Lily's outfit into a something a bit different, but I just wanna give you a little like look at what the outfit actually looks like. So I put her hair up in a little thingy because I wanted to. Um, so first it says prom queen. She has a really nice prom queen. Here's the thing. So I don't want to change this, but this one says zombie prom queen and it has a bunch of blood on it. I don't want to add blood to it. So I'm probably just gonna leave this like this. And then there's this nice plain white sweater and it's a short sleeve sweater that has a little heart button. I'm probably not gonna use this or this beautiful green dress. It is a really beautiful green dress. It has like the same pattern like this it's on the top and then it has this nice green belt that has like three layers and then she has this flower which I'm probably going to keep on her neck her, her like costume that I'm going to make for her um, it's really pretty I love all the layers um, I think that's really detailed last her shoes so the shoes didn't fit on her like I could not fit the um the velcro that this like little pull piece onto it like like I'm tugging right now and I cannot fit it onto it so this just doesn't fit so I'm obviously not gonna use these shoes um first of all they don't match the shoes that are in the picture and second of all they just they don't fit like at all so I'm gonna hand some of this and then nail polish is on 
got shipped. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna try to start making a bit of details. I'm gonna go look through my dresses and try to find which one matches this. I think I might use something a bit different so I can splatter it in um, blood, not real blood, fake blood. So it, like I think I might use like something that I made because uh, look at the gloves that she's wearing. She has the flower on. But look at the gloves. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to find gloves. I don't think I'm gonna find them. But yeah, so I'm gonna start looking for that stuff right now and I'm gonna lay out all my options and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I picked out my outfit. So I was gonna use this dress and then I realized that it was all falling apart. This was one of my failed outfits. So this is another failed outfit of, like this. So I used to tie it, but then all the ties broke and it just didn't turn out good. Like, look at how ruined the sleeves are. Look at how bad the neck is. So I, I'm just gonna use this side of it because it's all white and I can use this as my base. So it's gonna look a bit better than this, but I mean like prom queen, like zombie prom queen, so it's gonna look a bit better. Oh, and by the way, this is my second grade project. Yeah, but nobody cares about my second grade project. Um, so I'm gonna start using this as my base, and you, I'm going to do this all in time lapse. Like I have this like string that I'm gonna add on to it, and it's gonna be like almost exactly like the costume. But I'm gonna tell you guys like about like right here, like what um like what I'm doing, so you guys understand it. So if you want to try to make your own zombie prom queen outfit, and you happen to have a very bad DIY, this is the way to start. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get into doing this. To make the blood, you will need some shaving cream. Any type of shaving cream will do. I just have this shaving cream right here. It's just regular shaving cream. Some red paint. Like I said, anything will do. I'm using this paint, it's just acrylic paint. Nothing too fancy. You can really find this at any craft store, really anywhere, it's just, it's nothing too fancy. And then Elmer's glue, which is really easy to find. Um, so those are the three things that you will need. So I have the glue on it right now. I'm just waiting for it to dry. So after it dries, I'm going to put Mod Podge all over the red, pieces of blood um so it stays on doesn't crumple up like this did you really want it to not crumple so um if you don't have mod podge use elmer's glue but i really really do recommend using mod podge because it really is going to block it off also um make sure you pay attention to those little details like just adding drizzles to it like don't make it like splotches like just you know be creative um and yeah so i'm gonna um put some mod podge on it string for a belt. I'm using this green string. Some really like tattered, um, what's the word for this like, material. And you want it kind of like a tutu material. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm gonna use to make the next part of the skirt. And then some scissors. We're definitely going to need some scissors. Last, a hot glue gun to hot glue everything in place. So let's get started.
that came out for me. I think mine looks super cute, and honestly, you can style yours anyway if you want to add some more to the top, or if you want to do a different method for the bottom. I love this way of making it, and I think it looks so cute. Hi, um, so today is going to be a fun vlog, um, because it's going to be my countdown to Halloween vlog, because Halloween is in like two days, um, today is Tuesday, and Halloween is on Thursday, and, um, the reason why I'm dressed like Cinderella is because at dance we are doing, um, like Disney, Disney day, so I'm super excited, so look at this dress, so cool, it's like a, but um, I, uh, for our first activity, I am doing this challenge thing which I got, um, where I, for about 36 hours, I put um, a regular, um, like, I think it's called like Twix bar out, and then I put one in the freezer and one in the fridge, and we're gonna see which one tastes better. Hey everybody, so now I'm in the car, so that's why it's super dark, but I have the three Twix bars. Um, so we have a left one that was just sitting outside, um, and then I don't know which one is which. I think this one is the one that was in the freezer and this one was in the fridge. Okay, let's, so let's take a bite out of each of them. This is exciting. So let's do the one that was just sitting out, was not in the freezer or the fridge. Not even like a... So here's the normal Twix bar. Very nice. Okay. Now to the one that's in the fridge. It's really hard, but it's still good. Like the caramel, it's still nice and gooey. So I very much enjoy this. All right, now the last one. That was hard to bite. Oh, the caramel is so hard. Personally, I like the one that was in the fridge for 36 hours. That tastes nice. So yeah, that's my opinion. Hello everyone, so it's Halloween now, and I just got my script for the school musical, and now we're getting changed. Uh, I need to put this on my brother's desk, and um, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just stepped on something. Okay. Set that down. Okay. We are good now. Now I'm going to get changed. I'm all dressed and ready in my Halloween costume. I am Hermione Granger, and um, I'm so excited to go trick-or-treating. So right now I'm going to the car to um, uh, my grandmother's house before we go trick-or-treating. And I just want to tell you the things that I got for um, Halloween from my parents. Um, they got me an LOL Glitter Globe doll. They got me a Harry, the first Harry Potter book, which I already... Um, I already read it, but I didn't, like, I was an audiobook, like, I didn't, like, like, read it, read it, so now I'm gonna start all over again and read it, um, and then they also got me a Harry Potter, uh, cookbook, it's like a spells cookbook, so I'm super excited about that, they also got me a glow stick wand, a glow stick, two, like, glow stick necklaces, and two spider thingies, um, what else, am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something, um, well, that's all I can remember, so off to Nana's house.